in today's session of Divorce Court. A million dollar settlement bankrupt their marriage. He took his money Wait a minute, and left. Truth. He says she swindled him out of thousands of dollars. He's a con artist and her family is too from the word go. But I didn't steal his money. Did she stop working? She never did work. But she says she earned every penny. So with 11 children total, I took care of it 23 years old. I object to that. Don't you ever underestimate what it takes to take care of 11 children. And now Kim Reynolds wants justice. If I had $150,000, why would I have to live on the streets? As she squares off with Virgil Reynolds in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Kim Reynolds versus Virgil Reynolds, and I'm advised that after 16 years of marriage, which has already ended in a divorce, you're still fighting over property issues. What's going on, Mrs. Reynolds? When he stops his accusations that I stole money from him and I had some kind of an affair with a relative. So what's about the affair with the relatives? Why are you still talking about that? <laughs> He does, not me, because I never had one, so I'm not worried about it. So I don't discuss something so that you, didn't exist. So you divorced him, and he's gone his separate way, but he's still mad at you about an affair with a relative? He never goes his separate ways. He's always around calls and trouble. So he's still there with you? No, not in my house. You don't want to end it? It's not over yet? Is this your way of keeping in touch with Mrs. Reynolds? Your Honor, I don't know what this woman was talking about. She's a con artist, and her family is too, from the word go. Why is whenever, she a con whenever, artist? Uh, let me explain. When I was working on the railroad, I worked for the railroad for 10 years. And I, I got knocked off railroad bridge by a tire crane and fell 84 feet to the ground. Oh, you know what? I, you have to slow down. I know what you mean. Yeah, I need to hear you. And, <laughs> you got okay, knocked off the railroad. I got knocked off the railroad bridge by a tire crane. All right. Okay. Got that. I fell 84 feet to the ground. Spent 82. 30, wow. Well, I what spent difference 37 it? days. Oh, come on, Mrs. Reynolds. <laughs> what difference is it? 82 versus 84. <laughs> well, he tells so many lies. He may as well make tell some truth. The, the point difference? is, he fell and hurt himself Amen. a lot of feet. Thanks yeah. be to God, you're still here to tell the Amen. story. Yeah. Any permanent damage? Oh, yeah. I got uh, four vertebrae in the back, have hairline cracks. Uh, my left <laughs> leg was broke in two places. My right leg in four places. They fused the left ankle together, uh, tore a five-inch hole. Are you still walking by yourself? Certainly. Oh, that's a miracle, huh? Yeah, he had uh, a good wife to take care of him. Oh, you took good care of him. That's right. <laughs> Even though he's accusing you of having the affair with a cousin. Well, he forgets to tell the part that, number one, in 1981, when I married him, he had children, minor children. And the four years, you know, before he had his accident, I took care of these children. I took care of them day and night while That's he worked out to of do. town. Yeah, I didn't complain about it either. But you I didn't steal his money. So how, you want a settlement from the accident? So he won a settlement. Pardon? In 1985, he won this. a settlement. Okay, and I had to go and take nurses' training to take care of him, to bring him home, to keep him out of a nursing home. They wanted him yeah. in a nursing home after he fell. How much money was your settlement? Uh, one million. One million dollars. He got five hundred and forty thousand after the lawyers. Well, that was a settlement. Was how much did she get? Well, I didn't get she, any. She hooked me. How for, much did you get after you paid the lawyers' fees and costs? I got five hundred fifty-four thousand after. Five hundred fifty thousand. Uh, will you be quiet a minute? After that. I invested 400000 into some companies, and uh, we were sitting back at home drawing $5,800 a month. Did she stop working? Uh, did your she, wife stop working? She never working? did work. <laughs> <laughs> she never did work? <laughs> oh, that was a joke to you, work. Oh, no, yes, I did. She never did that work. That was a real joke. Really anyway. Excuse well, didn't me, she Your stop? Honor. So, wait a minute. So, when you married him and you had your children and he had his, you stayed home and took care of the children. That's really serious. Six oh, children. Yeah. Work, trust it, it me. Was... And after his other family <laughs> members right. moved in, like nieces and nephews, there was 11 children total. I took care of it, 23 years old. Well, I think that that was more work than you and I ever could have done, working on the railroad, working as a judge, and anything else. 11 children? That's a lot of work. The oldest that means that, that was... she didn't get much sleep. Don't the oldest one was 16. The younger one was 9 months that. old. Hold on. Don't I understand, you dare. I understand women have a, have a rough job, but let me tell you what happened with the no, 400,000. No, 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 I don't want you to slide over that. I'm not going to slide over it. Well, I want you to hear me clear. Okay. Don't you ever underestimate what it takes to take care of 11 
children. Oh, I understand don't that. Don't underestimate yeah. that. But they wasn't all there at one time. Well, that is, I don't care if it was two of them at a time. She worked. I understand, yeah. And then she had to work to take care of you after your accident, right? So did having all that money cause some problems? Well, yeah, it cost a lot of problems. For him. So you yeah, invested $400,000. Yeah, she started looking for a younger man. You invested $400,000 yeah, in the uh, stock 200, market. Yeah, I invested in one, 200000 area in trust companies in the stock market. Okay. I mean, her family was all the time sucking money up from us. What do you mean by that? Dollars. I mean, we had to pay her mother's electric bill. Her sister lost That's her mortgage three times. Honor. Let him finish. Her, her, her sister lost her mortgage three times. We paid her out of debt three times. The, the third time and he, that we paid him out of debt, he drove it into the driveway with a brand new automobile. Where did he get him? that? I thought you said her sister lost the mortgage. Yeah, her sister. Well, my sister-in-law, her sister. So you if know. you were spending all of this money helping out relatives, you became the bank for the relatives. Is right. that what you're saying? Yes, that's right. So where is, why is, what is there to argue about? What's left? I want, I, I want my money back. What's Would left? You just, what's what's left? You, there's probably about 150000 left. And how do you know there's $150,000 left? Well, I don't know exactly, I would like but to know that too. When she was spending this money, were you aware of the fact that you were helping her sister out yeah. and her brother out and her mother out? Not, not all the time. But you also had seven children of your own, right? Right. By then, they were adults, right? Well, let me tell you something else. No, just yeah. answer my okay. question for a minute. All right. Go ahead. Your children, were you helping any of them out? Yes. No. Your you Honor. didn't help any of your children, not just her they family. Never, they the never relative got a dime that I'm being it. accused of this my incarcerated. Never got a dime out of did you give her access? How did she get this money? Uh, it, it came. Uh, I had power of attorney over him. Oh, that you was just for the medical. That was not for my finances. What? Well, then how did she get the money? If it wasn't for your finances, how she pulled it out of investment, I don't know. You have no idea. I have no idea how so she. So if you don't have any idea that she pulled it out, then how do you know she was the one who pulled it out? I got I got the records right here that shows you know, where she pulled it out at twenty some thousand, eighteen thousand. Let me see. Your Honor, he needs to also tell you about the three trips to Hawaii he made, the cruise to the Bahamas he made, the seven he trips. Made? Well, as a family, as <laughs> friends, we took friends. He took the pastor and his wife on several vacations to buy I his way it. into a ministry. I didn't uh, buy that he claimed. Why are you laughing? If you say, if you're telling me that I, I objected it, Mr. Reynolds. Oh, okay. You're telling me. I'm glad I got your attention. <laughs> you're telling me that you came here because you believe she took your money. Used it without your knowledge. Well, I know so. Uh, there should be about $150,000 yeah. left if you want it back. Yeah, but yet you're laughing about it? about it? Huh? Yet you're laughing about it? Well, I mean, it's better than crying. Your, well, your if it's Honor, funny to you, you don't need me. I know, I don't, it's if not I have $150,000, when he deserted us, me and six children, if I had $150,000, why would I have to live on the what do streets? You mean, what do you mean he deserted you? He took his money Wait a minute, and left. Wait a minute, truth. Hold it. on a plane in Gainesville. Hold it, Kimberly, hold it. Just Let's tell the truth. No, shut Mr. Reynolds, you're you're No, stop, both of you. <laughs> you be quiet when she's okay. talking, and you talk to me. Yes, ma'am. He is going to make accusations that he was in fear of my son-in-law, which is Amen. a joke. Amen. If anyone was in fear, I was in fear. His He's children convinced well, him that it was better off if he left me because I didn't take good enough care of him. I wiped his rear end. I bathed Not him. Then. I shaved him. I seen that he had his medicine. It's I cooked his fall. meals from 1985 till 1996. I did everything from him. When divorce court returns, Virgil gets the judge's attention. So you're saying that she went to visit your relative in jail. Yeah. When they him. were going into the bathroom having relations. I worked in a federal prison. So don't come in here telling me that. And he pushes the judge too far. I'm going to take a recess. <laughs> when you take this seriously, you call me back. You need to try to be a little more serious and not be okay. so disrespectful to the Oh, man. okay. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Virgil Reynolds, who received $1 million in an injury settlement and now says his wife Kim has left him penniless. We came home from Sunday school one Sunday. She packed up the van. I had her a $120,000 home, $33,000 worth of furniture, and she decided to shuck it all to go down to uh, another state down south to be with her supposed uh, lover. His, his relative, who's incarcerated uh, in prison yeah. since 1981. So is this the lover you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. he's her relative. He's yeah. your his, relative. His relative. Yes. And what made you say she left you for him? 
I found letters that was telling Your about... Your Honor, because no, he was out of prison oh. in 2018, I mean, I'm just going to sit around and wait on him. Hold on, Ms. Reynolds. Okay, th this boy wrote her a letter and said that, that he uh, was running his fingers through her hair and the smell of perfume off her breast and everything. He had her down in Florida as his girlfriend, and she was married to me. But I thought he was in prison. He, he is. is. He's in prison. So how's he running his fingers through her hair? Hey. Good question. When he, he was with me when we hey, visited. Let me, hey, let me take you. Hey, when hey, when we visited you, together. Hey, okay. I'll guarantee you, I'll, I'll take you down there and show you. They, them prisoners go right in the bathroom with their wives down there. So you're Several saying times. that she went to visit your relative in jail? Yeah. And with they him. were going into the bathroom yeah. with him. I, I was in a VA hospital, and she made up some excuse she was sick and went to see him in Florida. But, uh, oh, that's ridiculous. Now, but you know good and well. Your Honor, I have pictures of our trip. I worked in a federal prison. I didn't work I in didn't state know. prison. But you do not, two people of the opposite sex cannot go into the bathroom together. And you know it. So don't come in here telling me that. They went outside taking cigarette breaks all the time. With, and, and oh, they should have died of cancer out there. You know, all of this is funny to you. Not and funny his to me. daughter. It isn't funny to me either it's because he has destroyed my but reputation. Wait a when, you were, when you were going places, did you take these trips? Yes. Three times to Hawaii. All right. How Once much did you Bahamas. spend to go to Hawaii? Oh, five thousand dollars out of four hundred thousand. Three no times to go to Hawaii. You spent five thousand yeah. uh, dollars. Right. How Excuse many people me. went? Well, for first time, just me and Kim. That was five thousand. Uh oh. And the second time, we took her um, brother-in-law and her sister. It's probably so. That's four and of the you. Third time, we took me and her and all the kids over. That was four children. So that's you and her. Four kids or eleven right. kids? Four, four kids. kids. We didn't All right. have no 11 kids in our own world. Now, that's about $40,000 right there. Yeah, that ain't no money. What kind of proof do you have, Mr. Reynolds? Uh, well, you gave me these documents that showed right. that. That's the, that's now, this is supposed to be proof of withdrawal of the money. That's she pulled the monies out from investment and deposit into credit union. Well, Mr. Reynolds. All that is deposit. Mr. Reynolds, every check that I've looked at. Has his signature. Has your name and Kimberly's name. I will take a lot of detector tests. That is, I never signed one of those. Well, every last one of these checks have the signature of Virgil Reynolds as well as Kimberly Reynolds. You didn't see that when you brought I this never, to me as I evidence? Never, I never signed one of those checks, Your Honor. So none of these are your signature? No, they're not. So if, how did you get copies of these checks? Uh, we got a hold of the finance company down there. So before today or before you got ready to come to court, you didn't know that she was pulling this I money out? Not, I, I haven't. That's the first time I've seen any of that, Your Honor. And none of this is your signature? No, ma'am. Did you get a handwriting expert to tell me that? No, but I can tell you right now, it ain't my signature. Well, I've never seen your signature, and I'm not a handwriting expert, but I can do pretty good. Well, give me a piece of paper. Sign your name. All righty. Ms. Reynolds, did he sign all these checks before Thank we you, go through all this? Yes, he signed them. And I can tell you right now, right. at the time that he's claiming he didn't sign those checks, he would also have episodes where he wouldn't remember anything. So if he had episodes where he didn't remember anything, is it possible that you had him signing the checks during the times that he no, didn't remember? No, he knows he signed them. You, it took you, his signature. You didn't answer my question. Is it possible no. since he had episodes No, of because I wouldn't have him do business when I knew his mind was in la-la land like it is now. <laughs> well, you know, the interesting part of I got a mind. The signatures appear to be the same as this one. I'm not an expert. Thank not you, Your mine. Honor. Well, you don't have any proof that it's not. No, that's true, but okay. it's not my and, and so I can tell you, only, I didn't sign So them. the only proof you have now is my eyes, because that's all you brought me. And I, my I, eyes I, say I they are, they're similar. I'm telling you, I've been a minister for uh, 20 years. Oh, I never yeah, signed right. Well, unfortunately, being a minister uh, in this court has some credibility, but it doesn't prove that this your is not Honor. your handwriting. <laughs> but now, the interesting thing that you do have... I'm going to take a recess. When you take this seriously, you call me back. No, There's I'm something serious. Something funny I'm to you. Or be at recess. Just stay right there. Yes, sir. You, you need to try. Even if it's funny to you, you need to try to be a little more serious and not be okay. so disrespectful to the Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm very I'm insulting disrespectful for, for, to her. Well, it is very insulting. She's yeah. trying to help you two. Oh, okay. And you're just standing out here laughing. Oh, That's okay. very inappropriate and very insulting. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't. I didn't well, mean to disrespect to her. That. You know. Okay. Well, that's that's exactly what's coming at you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean know. to do that. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. You came to my court, asking this court to do something. I take my job very seriously, and you shouldn't have wasted my time. And an update on the case of Rachel Richardson versus Dwayne Shelley. Two weeks into our marriage, he tells me he has eight kids. Oh. Then two months ago. He tells me he has 16. Woo.
Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back in the case of Virgil Reynolds as he tries to contain his emotions after his behavior in court caused the judge to leave the bench. Come to order. Court is back in session. And Mr. Reynolds, let me tell you something. We're back in the matter of Kim Reynolds versus Virgil Reynolds. You came to my court asking this court to do something. I take my job very seriously. If it's funny to you, then you're not really upset about this money. And you shouldn't have wasted my time. I apologize, Your Honor. Now, sorry. about a, I'm trying to be fair, trying to get to the bottom of it, trying to get you some evidence to see if you have any validity to your claim. But if it's all a big joke, we can go home. No, it's not a joke, Your Honor. I apologize. Now, the interesting thing, as I was about to say, about the money, although the checks seem to have been signed by both of you, I noticed that all the deposits were only to an account in your name only, Ms. Reynolds. Your name only. Now, explain that. Even if he signed the checks, why did it all go into another account in your name only? Because that's the way he set it up. We had an account for ourselves together. We had my account and his account. That covered all the money. It wasn't all being drawn out at the same time? No. This is one account in your name only, and you're withdrawing Then why did he only 10, pull 000, that account? 20,000. Why didn't he also pull his accounts, and he'd have found out that there were the same amount of deposits were made there, too? What did you do with it after you made these deposits into we, your uh, account only? We took uh, a cruise to the Bahamas. We went to Canada, where we took 90% of the church people. He gave $150,000 to the church. He gave them a van. He bought... Well, did you uh, think this money was going to last you forever? No. Uh, no, I, he thought I, he could my, buy his way to I heaven. Paid my, I paid my tithes, which was $15,000, Your Honor. Did you have an account in your name, too? Yes. Let him answer. Did Mr. Reynolds? i never seen any. Is it true that then you put this money into several different banks? No, she did that. Several different so, accounts. I didn't know that. But it was not in... Was any of the account... Were any of the accounts in his name? Uh-huh. Do you know I, anything Honor, about that? Your Honor, I got to cash one fifty dollar check. Just answer my question. Did pardon? you open any accounts in your name? No. Where are your records to show? I don't have any records, Your so Honor. So you just are assuming that she spent all of this money or that she hid the money? His children have convinced him Just hold on. What? You're just assuming that she ran through your money and just spent it or she hid it somewhere. Is that what you're saying? Uh, that's true, yes. You walked into this court asking for $150,000, claiming that that's what she has hidden somewhere without any shred of evidence to establish. How do I know what you did with that money in four years? I've and got you took all of these to trips and you took vacations, which you've acknowledged. And you, you, you're whining and dining the church and friends no, and no, relatives no, 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 and everybody. No, no, no. All the church got was there were 15,000 times. I don't know where she got $150,000. Well, you know that's what? You don't crazy. have any proof whatsoever. Well, that's true. You could have at least gotten an investigator to see if she had any accounts anywhere in her she name with any money. She would be in jail right now if I'd have got an investigator, Your Well, Honor. then you should have gotten an investigator and put her in jail instead of walking into my court asking me to give you $150,000. You know what? You should have gotten the investigator, proved that she took your money, proved that she hid it in a secret account, let her take her butt to jail if you could have proved it. But you shouldn't have walked into my courtroom naked. You don't have anything. Good day. All rise. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Rachel Richardson versus Dwayne Shelley. Do you really have 16 children? Yes, I do. Why didn't you tell her how many children you had? Well, at that time, I was young. Oh, spare me the young. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Rachel Richardson said she wishes she took the time to find out more about her husband, Dwayne, before she married him. Two weeks into our marriage, he tells me he has eight kids. Whoa. Then two months ago, he tells me he has 16. Ooh, wait a minute. Do you really have 16 children? Yes, I do. Why didn't you tell her how many children you had? Well, at that time, I was young. Oh, spare me the young. You were old enough to have 16 yes. children. Yes, how sure. much older do you have to be? 
Rachel wanted Duane to pay her $300 a month in spousal support. The judge ruled that they had not been together long enough and denied her request. Rachel says her loss in court made her realize she needed to go back to work, and she is working on starting her own delivery service business. Duane says he will continue to support 13 of his 16 children as best he can, but he is doing everything within his power to prevent having any more children. I am very glad that the judge finally has seen my side of it. I didn't steal his money, I never had no affair, and finally, today, it's ended, it's over. The woman uh, stole $400,000 from me and got by with it. She had the money. I hope it's over. I hope he goes on with his life and leaves me alone.